What's up, guys? We just wanted to give a quick update. We are alive and well. We have actually came back to Texas for the summer, which is why we haven't really been uploading. <laughs> we prefer to make videos about like travel and cool stuff, and we've kind of just been hanging out with family and working, saving up money. So that's what we've been up to this summer. So yeah, I ended up getting a full-time job uh, just for the time being, so we can save up money. So Maddie can have the car to do Grubhub and whatever else she needs to do, and then I can go out and work, and we can save up money for our next journey, which hopefully will be soon. And if you're wondering what I've been doing for money, that's what this whole video is about. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing to make money while Andrew's been working full time. What's up guys? This is personally my favorite way that I'm making money right now because it's so fun. And that is to thrift and then to resell the items. I will get more into how I sell the items later in the video, but for now I'm gonna take you thrifting with me. I came to a local thrift store. And before we start shopping, I wanna give you my first tip of the day, which is to be prepared. Have some coffee, make sure you eat, wear some comfortable shoes, just be ready because really searching a thrift store takes a long time and a lot of walking, a lot of time on your feet. So be prepared, I'm ready, let's go. While you're shopping, keep an eye out for any deals the thrift store has going on. I typically only buy stuff if it's an additional percentage off. Also, make sure you check every single one of your items really well to see if there's any stains or holes and to make sure that the zippers aren't broken. All right, today's next order of business is to send out a package because I made a sale earlier while I was shopping. So I came over to the post office to drop off my package. Normally when we're on the road, I don't have a printer with me, so I go to Office Depot and I print out the label. And all of the Office Depots that I've been to so far have a USPS station, so it's usually really easy. I just print out the label and I can leave my package there. So I actually use two different apps to sell clothing. I use Poshmark as well as Mercari. And to keep as big of a profit as possible, I wanted to show you guys my next tip, which is to take advantage of the free packaging that we in the United States States can receive from the USPS. It's super easy to get. You literally just go to their website and you can order however much you want. It's completely free and shipping is free. So right now when we're at a house, I'm stocking up on that. However, unfortunately, this priority mail packaging only works for my Poshmark orders because Mercari is typically first class mail. So I have to use regular packaging. When we're on the road, I typically buy packaging like this from Walmart. It usually comes in a pack of six for four or five dollars, so it's really not that great of a value. So right now, while we're at home and have an address to mail stuff to, I'm trying to stock up on packaging through Amazon. I always want to mail my stuff in bubble mailers, so I found this pack of 25 really cute teal bubble mailers on Amazon for $11. So I'm trying to stock up on some of these for my Mercari orders. And now what you've all been waiting for, a thrift haul from the Buffalo Exchange outlet in San Antonio, Texas. I came home with 20 pieces of clothing and two pairs of shoes, all for $48. So in honor of my best sourcing trip yet, I'm going to show you guys what I got. Let's get the shoes out of the way first. I got this pair of Circus by Sam Edelman brown booties, great for fall. I thought these were super cute. And I also got these heeled booties from Target. They're the brand A New Day. And moving into the clothes, you'll see most of what I got is long sleeves, flannels, sweaters, because I'm trying to transition my closet into fall. However, with that being said, I'm gonna start off with a tank top. I couldn't pass this up. It's just a cute graphic tank top, but it's brand new with tags from Hot Hippie. And look at that original price. When something's brand new with tags, you can typically sell it for about 75% of retail value. This next piece is a Free People tank top. It has really cute lace up details on the side. Similar tank tops go for around $20. This next piece is a brand that I don't know, but I just thought this was a really cute t-shirt with a bunch of cutout details, has some distressing up here. And it is the brand Emma and Sam. This is kind of like a going out crop top. It's very sheer and it is from Urban Outfitters. 
This next top is just a three quarter blouse. It is from the Knox Rose brand at Target. The next piece is a really cute three quarter length sleeve black and white striped top with ruffle edges. I just thought it was really cute. This next top is a black and lacy sheer free people top. Really beautiful three quarter length sleeve blouse. This next top is Lucky Brand. It's a long sleeve with the bell sleeve. This next one is a graphic sweater. It has leather detail on the sleeves. This next sweater is from the brand Staring at Stars. It has really cute lace details on the side and I decided to pick it up because while I was in the store I looked on Poshmark and multiple of these have already sold. This one is from We The Free from Free People. It is a lightweight blue sweater with lace details. It's pretty long and very soft. Next we have an express sweater. It has this cute detail in the front and it's just really great quality so I decided to pick it up. Moving along we have another item that is brand new with tags. It's this brand, Cool. I don't know much about this brand besides that my mom loves it and it's very high quality. I saw on the tag here that it originally sold for $79. This is the only flannel I came home with on this trip. It is from On The Bias which is a PacSun brand. Um, I thought it was really cute and basic. This next piece is really unique. I've never sold anything like it before. It is a crushed velvet jumpsuit. It's from Urban Outfitters and I checked on Poshmark and quite a few of these have already sold. This next dress is the vibe that I'm trying to go for in my closet. It is a brand new with tags, beautiful yellow floral print. It's from the brand Band of Gypsies. This next piece is another brand new with tags. It is a LuLaRoe Nicole dress. It's just blue and red. I thought it was perfect for fall. And finally, the last piece of the haul is these really pretty pattern pants from Zara. Very fall, very cute. There you have it, all the clothes. Now it is time to steam them and take their measurements. I like to steam every single item even if it doesn't necessarily need it because steaming actually disinfects the clothes. I then take a couple basic measurements of each piece because I've found that buyers often ask for measurements. When it comes to taking photos, my first tip would be to take them all in the square mode because that's what you upload to on Poshmark, so it just makes it easier when it comes to editing. My next tip is just to find the best lighting you can. Because we live on the go, I'm always taking pictures in different places. For example, when we're out and about, I will typically just wear the items and have Andrew take pictures of me in them at a park or whatever. Right now while we're at home, thankfully I have some walls and stuff to take pictures against so it makes it a little easier. But I do still try to model the clothes because I've found from looking around on Poshmark that a lot of people take pictures in the clothes so buyers can see what they actually look like wearing it. And my last tip for photos is just to take pictures of the tags so you could show people the size, what fabric it's made out of, and what the care instructions are. Alright, that's going to be all for today's video, so please comment down below if you would like me to make more videos about this, because I would love to. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a great rest of your day, bye bye.